Okay guys, if you have a rocker switch in your RV, on this video we're going to tell you how to get rid of it and make everything Bluetooth. So if you have a slide out controller, an awning, or lights, and you want to make them Bluetooth with RV intelligence controllers, we're going to show you how to do it. We have some breaking news. RV Intelligence has agreed to give away the RV Intelligence controller to one lucky winner. If you have one of these in your RV, you're going to want to watch this video and get entered into our drawing. In order to qualify for the drawing, you need to like this video, comment below, and subscribe to the channel. On September 25th, we will pick a lucky random winner by replying to your comment. You will have 24 hours to respond and send us a shipping address for RV Intelligence to, to ship the controller switch. Also, they are offering a 10% discount on any of their products with free shipping. Remember, in order to qualify, you need to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment in the comment section below. Good luck and thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. On this channel, we document our travels, our ventures, RV and truck camper, how we did it, and upgrades. We give you honest reviews on products we use. Today we are at RV Intelligence in Orlando, Florida. We have been using RV Intelligence products for over a year now, and we love them. I contacted Herb at RV Intelligence for some information on their products, and he invited us over to their headquarters and lab to check it out. This should be good. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. And right now we're with Herb with RV Intelligence, and we're going to talk about some of his product. Hey there, good to meet you, Danny. Good to meet you, man. Thanks, you guys came by to come and visit here in the lab. And uh, this is where we uh, invent all of the RV Intelligence products. And, uh, you know, we're so thrilled that you guys are happy with our Smart RV Control. Um, it's really a basic product for uh, a basic need almost every RV or with an electric slider awning has. Mm -hmm. So this came out of that basic problem of we would do weekend camping when our children were young. Mm -hmm. And I would go out and set up the RV on a Friday afternoon and the wife and children would come out. We'd spend the weekend and then I would tear everything down on Sunday and meet them at home. Setting up an RV by yourself is quite a challenge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. it's nothing that you should try on the first go all by yourself. Well. I went out to move my slide and of course got in a lot of danger real quick. Um, and when I went to go purchase a, a remote control from one of our local camping stores, um, I was told how much it would cost and it was difficult to install and that it was, uh, I found out it was basically a little key fob device. Mm -hmm. Well, um, I kind of like to invent things and so I went off and said how can I make this a little better. So we actually came up with a couple iterations of the product. Our first one was a relay-based product called the Jazz Jacks Awnings and Slides. It worked very well. It was very large, resembled a stick of dynamite, which mm -hmm. got us in trouble with TSA a few times. <laughs> um, but uh, it, it really was a good product. And folks who have a Jazz 30 or Jazz 5, I hope you're still enjoying them. We, we made those very rugged. Mm -hmm. But again, they were extremely large, and people wanted something a little more compact. So that's when we came up with the Smart RV Controls. And as you can see, it's a simple electronic product, no relays, all solid state. And it brought in some features that we really liked. Our first product had motion sensing, which this does. So in other words, when you're driving down the road, this notices that you're driving and will not let your slider awning deploy, period, mm -hmm. because it's in motion. That's a safety interlock that no one else has. I didn't know that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, you'll notice it turns red. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you can unlock it by either hitting any physical button. That instantly unlocks mm -hmm. it. If you can get to the box, I assume you know what you're doing. Right. Or in the app, if it happens to be locked in the app, and I can show you how that works here, by pulling up my Forever Dreaming product here that's hooked up to our station. And if I give it a few taps, okay. It went into lock mode. Yeah. Right? Nice turn and you, red too. Yep. Yeah. Now I can go unlock here and I can go one, two, three, four, five, six, which by the way is our default password, and it unlocks it. Mm -hmm. Now there's a third way. There's a timeout setting in the configuration down here where you can tell it how many seconds to unlock, right? And right here it's set for one minute and I can put it all the way to 30 minutes. Oh, wow. Or disable it, yep. yep, automatically unlock. And why you might want that is if you've got to get into your RV and you've just pulled up to, say, a Walmart or mm -hmm. some other convenience place, 
you don't want to wait and have to hit the button unlock so you could set it for one minute by the time you get out of your vehicle it's already self unlocked right. it's looking for that motion constantly that's one of our safety features we've never had a problem with the app uh I've never had to go into the settings that you just showed me. I've never, I didn't even know that was there. Oh, there's you know, so we, we just go to the front page, retract, extend, and, and it's always worked perfect for us. And there are so many things in the settings that work for you, right? You can set your own name, right? Forever Dreaming. You can uh, t control the function. We have the ability to uh, use rear inputs, and you set that right here, front control or rear control. Um, we can, if you accidentally wired incorrectly, and go, oh, I don't want to rip that panel apart again. Mm -hmm. You can invert the extend retract right. function, right? Right. And then of course, using our pigtail adapter, which allows you to connect to the classic uh, mono block, you can also use the optional light. And in the optional light mode, as you go back, you can see now I have a light control. So when this box isn't moving my slider awning, mm -hmm. it can then control the light with dimming. Everybody loves the dimming. So this can be used just for lights? It can be used just for lights, but with the adapter, after you've done m moved your slider awning, mm -hmm. this tab here allows you to control a light. So the same module that just moved my awning, once it's done moving my awning into its correct position, mm -hmm. now I can use that same module to control a light. So you get two controls in one product. Know, so you can take the rocker switch from the light and, it, and put that the pick or the stuff. The, the wires onto this. It, it's it's similar to that. Of course, we have a wiring diagram in our manual on our website at rvintelligence.com, and all the product pages have a good wiring diagram, frequently asked questions, and a place where you can get help. And as some people find out, uh, don't call me later or early. You might just get an answer. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. What, one thing that we, we liked with this product is that we have a host truck camper, and we're, we have three slides. So when you, you can't get in the camper unless the slide outs are open. That's right. All right. So well, this is kind of a reverse story, but we were in Missouri and there was a bad thunderstorm came in, high winds, and the camper was rocking. The, uh, we were laying in bed. It happened at night. That must have been terrifying. And, and, and you know, the dog, the wife, and I was kind of freaking out a little bit. And I'm like, man, the slide outs are out. I need to bring the slide outs in. How do I do it? I'm like, oh, my phone. You know, I, you just don't think. And all of a sudden, my phone, Bluetooth. I sat in my bed and was able to close my slide outs laying in bed uh, while the storm was going on because I can't get to them. If, if I was to go into where the, where the switches were located, yes. I, I'd have to walk out the door to do it. Yeah, so, I've seen your you know, setup. Yeah, so that's, that's our testimony for this. That's why I love this product. And we've had this for about a year, not one problem. We haven't had one problem with this. Um, a lot of people, they they come check out our rig. Everybody kind of knows these around and see how people have stuff set up. And they always see these when they walk in the door. Like, what are those? Where'd yeah. you get them? And I said, oh, these are RV Intelligence. You need to go on their website. They're pretty cool. So anyways, Thank that's you. our That's our, our testimony on it. Well, you just told me that we did a good job and my team really pulled together to make a product that people love. Uh, I'm grateful. I mean, we always have detractors. That's any business. Oh, yeah. But we've had many, many, many customers who have just really told us, we love this product. It really made our camping experience better. Yeah. And all of our products from our smart RV controls to the other products we sell on our website all come from the camping experience of me, my wife, and our partner, who are all you know local people you know i was a veteran got out went to school and all that but uh, these products are based on our camping experience and so if anybody has input on how we could do a better job we're all ears yeah if anybody thinks that they've got an idea that they they, they could help us we we're all ears we love to hear good inputs um i've heard a couple of good ones i can here to tell you good. people think that there's some great ideas mm -hmm. out there and some of them are a little yeah. over the <laughs> edge um but you know you try to make sure you listen to everybody and hear what they have to say what i liked about these is that even someone with me with no electronics background was able to install this with no problems so you don't have to have you know a license and electricity to, to, to install these things so that's what I liked about it. It was pretty simple. It was a pretty simple install. Well with our pigtail adapter that brings up a good point. We created the pigtail adapter for two reasons. Number one we had a light adapter harness so it was a light adapter harness but we also had a lot of requests from people who had that little square block 
that plugs into the back of the switch. Yeah. That's called a monoblock. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know if somebody has a patent on it. I don't believe so. It's been around forever. Um, but people don't want to cut that off. And I don't blame them. It's very convenient. So as you can see, that pattern of connection is right here on the pigtail adapter. Mm -hmm. So you literally take the monoblock, plug it in right there, and then here's the tab that allows the light function, which was a separate mm -hmm. harness. So we combined them into one harness. Mm -hmm. It literally could make hooking up one of these modules mm -hmm. seconds. Because if you think about it, all you do is plug these wires in the back of our module, plug the monoblock in here. If you're not hooking up a light, slip it all back in the wall. That could have been all of five minutes of your day. Yeah. So if, any, if you have a rocker switch in your RV, fifth wheel, uh, pull behind trailer or even a truck camper if you have a rocker switch this will work absolutely and there's two ways that we have rocker switches there's the kind that you had in your kit which are the big uh, large rocker switches you can see an example yeah, right yeah, here exactly. right yeah, yeah mm -hmm. this is a, a classic rocker switch mm -hmm. right um, our module is designed literally to fit completely over that hole mm -hmm. so you can replace this switch with our module immediately right on the wall that's what we did yeah you know, we just took it out and put these in and just we had wires out and put on the back of this and was good to go and in several of our mm -hmm. rvs we have that as well um, but one of our rvs has what's called a convenience panel um, which is a small rectangular panel with much smaller switches than oh, that. Oh, yeah. And yeah. there's absolutely no way to get our module onto that panel. Mm -hmm. So to compensate for that, we have in the back of the module, and it's a configuration I showed you a minute ago in the, in the, in the settings, we have what's called the rear inputs. And what this allows you to do, is this allows you to use the original switch as a 12-volt signal to say module, extend, retract. So instead of listening to these two switches, the module listens to the original switch sending a signal okay. here. And that way you can use the original switch. And the panel usually has not a fairly good amount of room. There's always differences, yeah. but enough room to put one or two of these sitting back inside the wiring harness, hooked up to the switch, hooked up to the power. Now you can Bluetooth and you can use the original That's switch. That's what I was going to ask you. Um, I've seen so many different installs. Uh, honestly, I've seen uh, as we all know, no two RVs are alike, even mm -hmm. from mount mm -hmm. manufacturer to manufacturer or year to year. Um, I've seen people do some clever things. One gentleman had a very large fifth wheel and had multiple slides and awnings and lights and really, really dug our product. And he called me up and said, man, I would be grateful if you'd come down and help me. And uh, he's become a friend, unfortunately, I for him. Be careful what you put out here because you might have people call I won't you. use names. <laughs> uh, but he bought, you know, six modules mm -hmm. um, to control his four slides and two awnings mm -hmm. and it, that's quite a bit to put behind the panel and in his fifth wheel the panel was opposite of the bathroom well he had the clever idea we mounted these on the wall inside the bathroom behind the door behind the wall right and the wiring was super easy because it was all right there and he goes if somebody's in the bathroom and they complain about seeing your boxes I'm not gonna let them in the RV anymore and his wife didn't get to see the boxes while she's walking down the hallway. Right. And the original switches all worked, and he was thrilled, nice. and she was thrilled. Yeah. But so that's an example of so many different ways we can install our module. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, our reliability is really good. We, we, we self-protect. We, we look for overvoltage, undercurrent, overcurrent, all kinds of problems. We detect and report via the LED and the app. So uh, we've tried to make a product that everybody can get behind, and they're universal. I don't care which RV you have or what uh, uh, you're trying to control, you can do it with this, whether it's turning on a water heater or engaging your water pump, or any of those features can be controlled by one of these modules. Nice. Yeah, our applications manual shows you how to connect them, and of course, as you found out, if you call, I will answer. Yeah. What is the warranty on these? Well, we do have one year manufacturer's warranty, but I'll get in trouble with my partners by saying, I don't think I've ever turned anyone away when they come to me with a legitimate mm -hmm. problem. Mm -hmm. We stand behind our products. They're made here in the USA, right here in Florida, in a little town called Mount Dora, by some folks who are just some good old boys who have a great manufacturing operation. And, uh, you know, we, uh, we take pride in the fact that we've designed a good product and uh, we support it. So I'm not afraid to take on the responsibility of saying, yeah, we'll stand behind our product. Technically, we're a year. Take me to task if there's a problem. Nice. Yeah, that's, that's, a lot of people don't do that anymore. That's good that you do. Now, that's the way it used to be, wasn't it? Yeah, it really was. It really was. It really was. All right. Well, I think that uh, we've got a lot of good information on this. I highly recommend that you check out Tell me what your website is. www.rv-intelligence.com.
But and don't forget, if you type in Dreaming Ten, that's a discount code, and you'll get ten percent off your order and free shipping. And free shipping. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching.